Hey guys, Tyler up here, bring you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing today, spawning in the north, we have Happy playing as Undead. Going for the Death Knight first. And from the south, we have Moon. Thanks, Night Elf, for the Keep of the Grove. Map is Northern Isles, oh, and this one from right the TP League Season 1 see. Monthly 2. So we've got a, a tournament game on our hands here, or league game. Quite a few ladder matches recently. One of mine stealing there for Moon. Get that with the claws from his first camp. Alright, no hunters for anything as of yet. Attack. Wisp on the run from the skelly, but a creeping of these murlocs next. Place going for some easy camps. Okay, pumping a few archers and tech is underway. Looks like Happy was maybe running over to the Wisp, hoping he could coil to kill it, but diverts back to the shop. Does have one uh, ward. Put that down on the tavern. A player's forces are under under trade under hits here, and oh, here come a bunch of ghouls into the retreat path. Ooh, Moon, just about got himself surrounded there. That was a that was a risky one. Looks like the ghouls coming down, looking to do some harass. Gonna just send in the skelly keeper. Meanwhile, coming across to the undead base, one ghoul back here as well as a cold tower. So not much you can do. Drops down a ward. And then uh, it's going to be a ward into counter ward. Race to kill the opponent's ward. Or gets uh, your ward in return, fair enough. And the ghouls just come back and start chopping some wood. No. A player's forces are under Doesn't attack. have a huge amount of lumber in reserve. Starting up the graveyard now. Going to do some creeping first. So the keeper wants to come back in and he's, he's gone ward for ward. Kills off this ward and still gives some pretty good vision. And maybe he could sneak out this side of the base, but works out pretty well for Moon. So we're playing Dota with all that warding and counter warding. Okay, gonna let the eagle die. Not calls that one up. Only the level 1 tangle at this stage, so it's not that threatening. I'm happy just chasing him around here. Both players pretty similar experience levels. Well, not anymore for Moon. Finishes off this camp. Gloves of haste back there waiting for him. Looks like Happy's going to do a similar easy camp. Try to get the level up here. Spins a coil on it. And uh, Moon able to steal away the item. It does get level 3 though. Pretty much out of mana on this Death Knight. Can't do that much offensively. Comes in for the uh, coil. Oh, look at that surround! Unreal! And did you see that on the exit? He wand of mana stealing off the Death Knight. A so the Death Knight didn't have a coil to finish him off with. Didn't check exactly what health he got down to but would have been close to uh, the level 2 coil range not picked up the item yet demon hunter second maybe he's going to get the uh, gloves and uh, double edge of wind as well as a shop now Chasing each other around the map. A player's forces are under attack. Happy chopping away. Slaughterhouse coming up. Moon trying to harass. And then a couple. Okay, well there's an expansion down here. Wait, did I miss that too? Where was he? Did he build it over here? And here he comes. Happy does scout it though. What's going to be the response? 
transitioning across into some fiends. Got the lich in production. Just gonna send the death knight down. Does have the telly staff. Can get out of trouble if he really needs to. Even if he takes a minor burn, it's not the end of the world. Good luck on the uh, demon hunter and happy doesn't manage to steal away any experience. It's gonna be hippo riders. Very annoying unit to deal with. As a lot of air units are, I suppose. Just the one fiend at this stage. Getting a second one now. A player's forces are under I'm attack. I'm not sure if he's ticked web yet or not. I would guess no. Maybe go for that next. If he sees the need, at least. Okay. Expansion just about completed on the Entangle. So Moon going to have that extra gold income very shortly. And a good number of Hippo Riders together. A player's forces are under Cashing attack. Cashing in a bunch of his items. The Death Knight just down to the Orb of Corruption now. Looks like he did... We'll see Telly stuff away from the keeper. Transfers across the orb. Doesn't go all the way back though, just to the rest of the army, which is in the center of the map at this stage. He coiled to snipe the creep. I mean, a little bit further behind, so no entangles or no webs, rather, possible. Destroyer form ticking. It's an interesting choice. A player's forces are He's under up attack. Against mass hippos. Still wants destroyers. I know you know these are these treats around here, but what can you do? Quite annoying from the observer with the pings. Okay, here we go. Fighting underway. down to start things off. Focusing the fiends. Only two of them. And then nullify. One hippo down now. Web wearing off. Fiends way out of position. Gets this one. Got entangle on the next fiend. That's in some trouble. Gonna lose that as well. Looks like he'll get a second hippo here. are under attack. Oh yes, just enough damage. I'll try to go for action war kill next. Looks like a couple units looking to intercept fiends coming in reinforcements. Not happening yet. It's gonna be a dead ancient of war. Okay, rejuvenation potion activated. Maybe pick that up from the marketplace. Gonna come back in. A town is under siege. Forces are under attack. It's delaying the loss of this expansion. Transition now into some fairies. Quite a few fairies. Here we go. We're getting started. Got an eight food lead. And uh, you know, very little anti-air for Happy. Doesn't have many options to deal with this. Level up on the Demon Hunter. We do have the Naga Sea Witch in the mix, but she's gonna focus down now. Going down very quickly, that mana burn. Big damage. Got another fiend, but Happy just cannot fight back at all, currently. And there she goes. Naga Sea Witch dead. Another ghoul down as well. And Happy having to evacuate. Expansion back up and healthy. It's not looking good for Happy right now. It's too low on fiends. The uh, Ring of Regeneration. Just go for a touch more experience. I'll go for a creep jack attempt. Interesting. Forces are under attack. Uh, two fiends. About to kick off here. And it's going to be a town portal out. Interesting. I think he had enough firepower to win that 10 food up. His army may be slightly lower tech, but... 
No, maybe a bit too respectful of Happy's advance there. There's a little bit of uh, golf in the form of a town pool out of him. So it's going to be an attack on the main base next once again. It does have the extra armor on that tree, so the nature's blessing taking uh, quite a lot longer to kill off this expansion. Here we go, rear attack from Moon. Again, the Nagasi, which can focus to touch. Going on to the fiends again. Three of them, one down. Keeper though, also in a bit of trouble. He has to use the heal potion. Good blocking here from Happy. Naga Sea Witch goes down. Oh, is this the end of the Keeper? Oh. Ooh, that was a crazy transfer of the Invol potion. Oh, but the two Night Elf heroes in some trouble. Tell his staff out. Oh, just enough. 25 HP left. Yeah, not if I'm left behind. Still doing all right. I think he needs to focus down the statues. There he goes into mana flare form on one of them. And back in with the Demon Hunter. There we go. Finally going for the statues now. One down. And back after the fiends. Two fiends remaining. That's the last hippo down now as well. And now Happy all of a sudden's up on food. The hero focus ended up working very nicely. Now Moon transitioning into the mass fairy dragons. Not as effective as it used to be, remember. They did receive a nerf on their attack damage in exchange for a buff on their mana flare form. Now Moon has still been playing it a bit this patch, but definitely not as effective as it used to be, especially with the armor types matching up the way that they do. Pretty much even on fruit. Evacuates out of the mine. Tries to sneak these wisps out the back here, but happy. Not gonna allow that to happen. And Moon just uh, losing another berry here. It does go to mana fair form since it does give them that eight bonus armor ticks. Longer for happy to kill it off, but doesn't really uh, matter too much in the end. So kind of back to square one here for Moon, and uh, now he's not even that good of a position experience-wise. Fight the expansion went actually quite a lot better for Happy than I was expecting. And I'm going to tell his staff away. And maybe miss out on these big camps in the north. Behind on experience now as well. A very tough spot for Moon. For a second expansion in his a main base, and he can walk attack. across with that nature's blessing. Going for some damage upgrades now. Maybe stay at 50 food and efficient army. Happy is still above his in lower keep, so Moon can claw some uh, resources back over this face. Going into the main, looking for some economy harass. Going after the acolytes, going after the ghouls. Happy. Town portaling back here to save anything. He's just running back. So that's two acolytes, three acolytes likely to fall here as well as a ghoul. And uh, going for a fiend kill, not going to happen. Town portal out. Got a nice mana burn on the exit there. I'd say I'd call that a win for Moon. Did some economy harass. Might be down to just the one ghoul now as well. Might be hurting for lumber, especially if he tries to expand. He's got a decent reserve at the moment though. Looks like Moon got to use this time. He kind of created some space by coming up to attack here, forcing Happy back. And he goes back into this corner. Moon coming out for the red camp on his own side in the meantime. And uh, expansion completed. Going to start walking that bad boy across. Okay. Damage. 
There's some soul experience here to the Demon Hunter. That's interesting. Maybe one to that level 5. Just the whole undead army in the mix here. Looks like it will be a level up on the Naga Sea Witch. Item wise, Cloak of Flames. Not really going to do anything. The other direction it was a uh, Helm of Valor, which is okay for the Demon Hunter. Makes him tanky. At the very least. Last creep on the map here. Two Scar Sorcerer. And there we go. The town is under sea. Everything's crept out. I think you found a uh, wisp up there. Got a ward up here now as well. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, town portal trade. Goes off a ghoul before the exit. I think he kept everything alive. And the tree is actually moving not to this base position, but actually to the north, which is unexpected. Maybe in response to that town portal. Maybe coming down to this corner, maybe expecting expansion down here. Hoping for some creeps, but it's already been cleaned out. Maybe he did manage to squeeze back under to uh, no upkeep again. Back under 50 food. So, pretty good. Both players on uh, even footing. Moon does have an extra 500 gold in reserve though. Looks like Happy's going to attack. Moon starts up production as soon as he sees this. Decent mana burn there off the Death Knight. Didn't want to pay for it though. Taking some big nuke. Forces are under attack. It's another coil. Here he comes, back in. Big nuke on the Demon Hunter to start things off. There's the mana burn. There it is, finally, very late from Moon. He's focusing down the fiends, trying to get a couple of them, but the demon is getting quite low. Mana burns off the death knight, but it was a little bit too slow. Only the Naga Sea Witch with mana now, and there it goes. And then the run around with that fiend, but eventually it does fall. In the meantime, though, a few of these fairies in some trouble, and now the keep of the grove taking some nuke. Destroyer in some trouble next. Moon, maybe these are the ones that came fresh out of the ancient wind, haven't been bound to a control group. Ending up losing them here. Now Moon way behind on food count, but he does have that expansion in the corner. He can hold out for long enough, he can do something about this. Restarting the ancient wind up here in the north. There's 2 1 upgrades as well, I didn't mention that. Fiends at 2 2, however. Coming into the center, maybe some items can turn this around. Happy 1.4k left on his mine. A player's Finds a fiend. Under attack. Tangle can go for the kill on that. Okay, so stealing a few units from the rally point. And that's a level up on the Demon Hunter now as well. I wonder if he's going to go for another level of evasion. No, he goes for mana bits. Interesting. Evasion would make him more durable, of course, but... Here's the mana. Terrifying, and uh-oh. He's to end up spinning a town portal here. Tried to go for the tally staff, but... Didn't end up working. Okay, Moon. Uh, well, Happy actually did squeeze his way into upkeep just, and he's going to run across this expansion again. But he hasn't got much out of the mine, though. I'm going the for another one in this siege. corner, however. So, I mean, it would have just about paid itself off. 
the Effector and the Wisp costs as well. Players' forces are under attack. And they've uh, gone for an extra couple of towers now. Spirit towers. Three towers. That is terrifying for Moon. We'll continue with the attack though. Let's try and soak the damage. Expansion does end up falling and uh, happy clearing off the wisps as well. Doesn't want an easy rebuild. One more up in the corner. Does he notice it? It's night time. Doesn't look like he notices. Looks off a ghoul. Maybe an acolyte or two has fallen as well. But this is a pretty slow harass and looks like happy content. Oh, he's got some towers back there. I mean, 230 gold left in that mine anyway. Let's go for the counterattack into the Night Elf base. Do of course have that mine and this mine has worn off actually. I was trying to move the Tree of Ages across. Range the uh, Moonwells. Moonwells the first target of Happy. To shut off that region. And try to squeeze a couple out the back here, but go down fast. Oh, how did that not kill the acolyte? Oh, it's an illusion attacking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, looked like it did zero damage. Maybe it was a miss, but there's no like hills or anything. It's an illusion, of course. Take down these towers, but it's tough going for Moon. Bit of a base race, but it's a slow pace base race. A lot of piercing damage on both sides. Very bad against the fortified armor. The hero damage is okay. Here we go. Going back. And then they will trade in the town portals again. Came into mass mana flare form. Oh, the demon hunter got very low. Just have these two Moomos out the back for healing. He's pretty much back up to full. Tree of Age is still standing in this expansion in the corner. Up and running. A little bit of gold out of it. Looks like the Happy's just running straight there again. He's wise to Moon's tricks. He knows Moon. Big expansion man. And cancels the uh, next Wisp. Starts up uh, his attack. Destroyer checking. Not happening. The Tree of Ages walking into this position. It's like Moon going to come in for another attack on base. This time, though, I don't think Happy has a town portal. He has to run back. A player's forces are under defense. So we're going after the uh, towers and the acolytes. Oh, he's tough out. Ooh. Might have got down to single digits on HP there. So he's tough out now from the Demon Hunter. The units oh, trying to get above the trees, and looks like they're going to be successful. Did give a bit more time for go some gold to come in from this base, though. During that harass. Not much, though. I think it was originally one. Well, originally two, now one wisp. Just about up here, though, with the entangle. Okay, that can make a difference. And there we go. Tree dead. Moon, no income again. Destroyer scouts us out. Heroes back here. Siege. But no region. The nuke has just been too powerful. I'm waiting for night time, but it's still midday. So these night elf heroes are going to have to be very careful. I have to go for some sneak attacks. Players split them off from the rest of his army. Dragons just giving this destroyer the run around. 
immune to magic damage, of course, and that's what the destroyers have, so it can't even be attacked. A town is under siege. Tangling mine done. And get a bit the of gold out of it. Under attack. Counter attack onto the undead base, but happy. Still has two acolytes back here for repairs. Got a bit of gold coming in. He's sending his heroes into the undead base. A town Two pages. Takes a while to knock down. Is that extra health pool? Great. Staff to dodge. Are under the coil there. Oh, and this is a cheeky move here. Demon Hunter staffing to the expansion to save it for a bit longer while the undead heroes are away here. His best bit would be to damage the statues if possible since they have a hard time getting healed up. Just got a little bit of healing from the uh, unholy aura. So Moon's not going to come to save it this time. Managed to get about 500 gold out during this window. Putting another moon while back here is very strange. Is it? I suppose, yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, we've got some sappers coming in. Got an illusion as well. Maybe that can soak some nuke. Does some cheeky repairs as well, slowing down a few of the units of Happy. And here we go, sapper coming in. Boom. Okay, the second one, here it comes. Oh, here we go. Big damage, two towers down. Quite a lot onto the Black Citadel now as well. Demon Hunter staying away for this early stage of the fight. Takes the nuke though. Tally staffing out. Taking the Death Knight out of mana, but can't get out to the uh, ranged heroes with that mana burn. Pretty good sapper attack. Don't think he lost any uh, fairies in that either. Got Moon still down on foo count. I don't know. Seems like it's going to be tough. Good damage onto the destroyer though. Still can slap pretty hard. Just got to avoid those fiends. It's night time at least for a bit longer. The moon wells got a little bit of juice in them. Happy going back into the night elf base. Looks like going for a split. Gonna leave a few fiends back here to defend while sending in you know, the more important half of his army, I suppose you could call it. To the night elf base and looking to again kill off the moon well, shut down that region so his new He's more effective going forwards. So he's toughing back now. Destroying some trouble here. Good mana burn. No mana on the Death Knight. Destroy nearly going down. The Fiends picking off a Fury or two. Looking for some uh, revenge with the Entangle on the Fiend. Gets one of them. Destroy still getting chased down by these fairies. One small mishap and uh, it'll go down. There's one or two more attacks from those fairies. There's a dead fiend. I mean, a dead uh, destroyer. That's a dead fiend, though, what we just saw go down. Is that the last fiend now? For Happy? Gotta be careful. We have a good answer to these fairies shortly, but there's not a huge number of fairies left at this stage. How many is that? Six, nine total. Still respectable, and Moon uprooting the Ancient of Winds, coming back to defend his base, it looks like. Got a double time while they're repositioning here, not much action. Forex, even, for a few. 
Any spells? A player's forces are under attack. And I can see which back here to defend. So there's one acolyte left to repair. Only a hundred gold though. Okay, there goes all the mana from the Death Knight. Which is going to be next. Good bit of damage onto the statue. A player's forces are under attack. And I can see which now joining the fight. Kind of needs that cold arrow for a bit of crowd control. Slow down these Night Elf heroes, which are both, you know, pretty fast heroes naturally. Even with the uh, unholy aura having trouble chasing them down. Fiend left behind. So yeah, doesn't have any web with his main army. Just with his defense. Looks like Moon maybe saw that fiend back there. A town is under siege. Trying to bait the fiend across and uh, does manage to do so. Even on the way out the back, happy. Are they going to call this one a draw? It's going to take a long time to play out, it feels like. Well. Oh, here we go. Actually, happy. Maybe keep it a little bit isolated. In the corner. A player's forces Under heroes are have enough attack. mana for a nasty spell of nuke. He's going to tally stuff out. And across to the main base. Over to the Wisp. Going attacking for the Fiends. But maybe a Brink coming for an Entangle on this Fiend as well to try and finish it off. Here it comes now. Entangle, that's the uh, last. Bit of web. But now the Keeper. Oh, that is a big dose of nuke. Now the Demon Hunter leading the charge. Soaking that damage and burning. That Keeper dropped fast, man. And the level up on the Death Knight now as well. Does he go for a level 3 Unholy Aura so he can just run across the map even faster? Oh! Nuke onto the DH. Nova. DH staffing out. The town is under siege. He's alive. Stuffed across to here, not to the base. Still a bit of juice here. A touch surprised about that. And now Happy coming for the intercept. Maybe he saw that Telestaff location. And Moon throws in the town. Well, it looked like it could go on for a long time at the end there, but Happy, good positioning. Catches Moon's heroes and able to knock them out. Yeah, I just felt like Moon could have, should have been able to defend that fight next to his expansion a lot more effectively, but somehow he just got smashed. Maybe it was just the army matchups, those fairies, not very effective against the fiends. As I said, I feel like Moon should have targeted the statues earlier during that fight, shut down that region. You know, the piercing damage, a bit better against the heavy than the uh, medium type armor as well. But oh well. GG, well played by Happy. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.